Welcome back. Uh, here's another quick update for you. Um, so here you see the CNC has been working on the overhead console plug. And uh, here it's just doing uh, some milling along the top edge there. It's taking off uh, just one of the surfaces there that's right where the flange is. So this is the, the basically the panel that's in the overhead. There it contains the, uh, the visors and also the switching panel. Uh, here you can see uh, I'm working up the tool paths for one of the roof braces that goes across the top of the roof. So there's a I mean, bunch of t paths that need to be put in there because it's all these different little facets and flanges and things like that. So one of these parts are really complicated and can take a while to do. And um, of course, I've been having the usual problems with visual mill in it losing what I've been working on. So I've been fighting with that and figuring out, trying to figure out why that's happening. Um, so it's a waste of time. But anyway, still making progress with that. And here you're going to see those paths being run here. So here it's basically on this pass, it's just rounding off the edge of that particular um, brace. So there's I mean, a lot of these different things take a long time to do and then run it on the mill and it doesn't take very long at all. So I <laughs> um, actually got the mill working really, really good now because uh, when we originally bought it, it was kind of slow when it was moving in the A axis and I managed to make some adjustments to the parameters and get it working much better. So it's, it's a lot faster now. Here it's uh, actually doing some swarf cuts um, where it uses the side of the end mill or the the big drill bit that we have there. And that's a three quarter inch bit that I have, three quarter inch diameter. It's about 12 inches long. Um, so it, it makes quick work of what we're doing. So when it does a swarf cut here, it uses the side of the of the actual bit and basically runs sort of um, parallel to a particular face that you're trying to cut. So instead of trying to sort of mill something with the end from the side, you just use the side of the mill and you mill it from, from the, the, the top of it. Here we have the model sitting here in our little spare office. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what we're going to do um, with respect to these winglets to increase the size of them. Um, so I've calculated we need to increase them by about 35%, um, which is going to give us you know plenty of, of stability that we that we don't have right now in slow speed. So what we're going to do here, the, the ends of them here are going to be extended about this much and the trailing edges here are going to be extended about this much, about an inch and a half. So they'll still have the same leading edge, but obviously the foil will grow a little bit thicker. And so how uh, Jeff's going to do it just to save us time, he's going to laminate onto the inside, onto the inner edge under here, laminate some extra foam and then work it by hand to create the shape the same as what I'm doing um, on the actual digital model. And so I think they'll look really good actually uh, on the full scale one because they do look too small now, especially, you know, against the size of the fuselage. So um, it'll be a little bit different on the model because it's all the extension will be part of the rudder. But on the full scale one, it'll be a percentage wise. It'll still it'll have the same ratio. So this rudder transition here will move backward on the full scale one, but it'll stay in the same position here on this one. So. It's going to, um, because we're only working on the model now one day a week, it's going to take us uh, probably two, three weeks before we have it ready uh, to fly again. But that's an update uh, with respect to the model. Thanks. You can see the um, the plug for the floor braces, and that needs a little bit more handwork before it's ready for glass. It's, you know, done, I, I did it actually in one piece, but those braces are ab absolutely separate when the aircraft is being put together. Uh, here's the uh, keel. It's been glassed now, so that's ready for sanding and then ultimately to have the putty sprayed on it. So moving along with that one. And next you will see what do we have. Uh, this is the overhead console now. That's basically been had the handwork done on that. It's ready for uh, glassing now. And so you can see all the stuff that we've shown you before. It's all finished now, looking good. And lastly, uh, in between times, the guys have been busy taking that uh, container that we had 
that the, our, our putty rig came in and turning it into a nice little storage cabinet. So it's actually a decent size, five feet wide, six feet deep, and seven feet tall. So that's working out really well for us. So anyway, uh, stay tuned for the next update.